Welcome everybody, I hope you had a great training day. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to apply price session rules during FOMC announcement day. FOMC day is very typical with a very slow price action prior to news. So you have to be very careful and very patient for setups to develop. And after the FOMC announcement, it is also very typical for price action to be really volatile, very fast, the spikes to be strong and steep. And you generally shouldn't be trading one hour prior to FOMC and let's say give or take 15, 20 minutes after FOMC. You still wanna monitor the size of the bars, how fast they're moving. But if you can see after 20 minutes, the price action getting back to normal, you can start trading. So at first we can see that we have a small and slow train range because we don't have that many bars. This is the pre-market structure, already slow market prior to FOMC. And we can see EMA flattish. We have a downtrend with the break new low uptrend with the break in your high and notice this is the first leg up correction second leg up and this is very typical because market moves in pairs of twos when it comes to price action if you don't see it at first if you just discover the price action trading and you got rid of all the indicators it may take time for you to get used to seeing price develop in form of a two like a pullback and since i'm trading a tight trading range i'm following the channels very tight so break in your high and notice prices are trending to the downside so what am i expecting we're coming off the range highs, which is where all the sellers are selling. And so if we are in a trend range, we expect for prices to go from the top to the bottom according to range rules. So naturally, my bias is a little bit more bearish, but I cannot sell as long as I'm above the EMA. And notice we have new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. The reason why I'm counting for the second entry short is because I want to take a high probability setup because market likes to move in pairs of twos. So from this low, we have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. It is right at the EMA. You don't have to chase it too far down. This is a great tier one single bar closing on its very low. And this is the first decent high priority setup for the day. It looks like you may get trapped, but market continue working lower, followed by a felt second entry long if we're going to count from this high. First entry long, pullback, second entry long. All the bulls got trapped because we are coming off the range highs. Uptrend played out. This is the first leg, so we expect for sellers to create a second leg down because we're coming off the range highs, following the train range rule. The felt second entry long, however, is very big. You would have to force engulfing, which is not horrible because it is one tick higher, reverse down, and you place your order below this bullish bar. But you definitely cannot take it once it already formed because the scalp was basically made. You can see market almost reached the measured move, form new extreme. And market is going sideways. Now, am I looking for why the channel like this? I am not. Because remember, this was a very tight trading range from the very beginning. So I'm following the two legged pullback, especially in the tight trading range. So don't draw channels too wide. This is not a strong downtrend day or even a medium downtrend. This is a very range like follow the EMA. Okay, you can see I'm already trying to identify some support. Since you have clear two sideways broad legs down in price session, you're not looking for wider channels, so chances are high market's gonna go higher, but it is just setting up the support, so it is not fully confirmed. So buying is makes sense, but it's a little bit more aggressive. Okay, we have first leg up, so most likely we expect the second leg up. Okay, we have a big bearish bar off the small resistance. Why am I drawing small train range? Because we have flat EMA. A lot of up and down, up and down. So it looks like we have a small trigger edge inside of this main one. And this is getting so cramped and so choppy. You cannot sell here because the uptrend may get new high. You're already in the middle of trading range. You can see EMA very flat. Just be patient. Don't jump the gun. This is getting very veggie. Okay. We have a big fell breakout. Actually, not really a fell breakout, but big bearish bar. But you're in the middle of trading range. You can't sell. No clear bias. And prices are breaking to the upside. And notice what is happening. Every single low is higher than the previous one. So there is a bullish imbalance. We are failing to reach even this micro support. And prices are trending to the upside. And notice we have a failed breakout out of this trend range. And since I know price action likes to move in pairs of twos, I have first leg up, break, second leg up. And this is a very common pattern in price action. It's called the two leg up pullback out of the trend range. It's nothing too fancy, but if you have a proven train range and you can measure the clear first leg, sideways structure, second leg, you expect stronger correction. 
Since this is a full breakout, according to train range rules, most breakouts will fail, at least temporarily. So we expect for prices to continue working lower. Can you fade a breakout? I wouldn't, because this momentum was so strong and looks like a part of one leg. You definitely want to wait for prices to pull back below EMA and give you some setup. But at the same time, EMA keeps holding, so it is tempting to go long. You can't go long because you have a downtrend in place, even though you have a second inch long, you can't go long. This downtrend can get new low tested. There is no trigger high above higher lows, so you can't go long as well. And prices are trending to the downside. And now we have two conflicting patterns because we have micro first leg down, break second leg down, and we have the larger two leg up pullback out of the train range. So focus on the big picture. The main picture is the train range, and this takes precedence. So since I know I'm in train range, chances are really high we're gonna pull back lower, back into train range. But I cannot risk it just yet, I cannot sell, because we are testing the breakout area, and you never know if you're gonna push higher and the uptrend will resume. It is very hard to know, and since you have already break and you low off this downtrend, even though you feel you're gonna push lower, you wanna have some proven setup or proven confirmation, which you never get any setup. There is no trigger below this bear bar, no trigger below this bear bar so these setups are not triggering and market is slowly working to the downside so i'm going to redraw the downtrend working lower so i hope why it makes sense that the prices are pulling back here because we reached the larger two like a pullback out of the trend range most breakouts according to rules will fail and prices are trending to the downside so i'm going to mark actually this is overshoot now overshoot you can see big bearish bar depletion far from EMA breaking the trend channel line which can generate strong momentum in the opposite direction okay and we're breaking above the EMA so you can already see the stronger correction because if the correction bullish one is weak you're going to reject by the EMA but we have one steep move up so what am I expecting I expect for this downtrend to create new extreme I want to take a high priority setup but I need to wait it out and wait for my turn according to plan because I want to sell a high priority setup and if I see uptrend in play I just need to let it play it out I was expecting lower high here take higher lower high but it never formed you already have a break new high so this is a good sign so now I'm thinking about some short setup but it's getting too stacked you know nothing really that great and now EMA is really flattening you have low high here but notice how EMA completely flat you are part of small congestion I really don't like taking the low high and now we have first entry short second entry short and new high first entry long second entry long but I respected the congestion here and it saved me to have a losing trade on low high so I'm gonna respect the congestion even more now you have another low high but it is a doji EMA completely in the middle of these bars you expect prices gonna pull lower but everything is so congested and unfortunately we never really get a breakout pullback market just keeps trading to the downside we have first leg down so you can measure the leg project where the target of prices will be based on price action additional second entry short would have been nice because you expect for this second leg to be reached but you only get first entry short here count reset at each new low and a first entry short here and market created the new extreme we overshot it a little bit and lo and behold we are at the bottom of the trend range so what do you expect according to range rules for sellers to take profits and from buyers to start buying especially since you have larger two-legged push and now it's getting one hour before fomc so you want to be careful i'm going to skip through this because there's not even a setup but you don't want to be trading because it is one hour prior to fomc and this is where the FOMC announcement kicked in. So very important fact that you need to always note is when you're trading a slow and tight train range, pay attention to the visual two-legged aspect of price action and don't look for channels to be too broad. We don't really want to draw channels that are wide like this, wide like this, or possibly wide like this. You can start drawing this when the price action picks up, when the train ranges are generally bigger. But when the trend range is slow and tight, really try to pay attention to the visual aspect of price action because it can help you to stay on the right side of the market and not to extend the channel too quickly, make it wider. 
here it was tempting to short and if you short it here i can see why but there was really no great trigger below these bars only here below the doji we just had a big bullish bar at this support that acts as a resistance so a little bit too conflicting beliefs we trade lower and you can see the fomc formed so at first i had my channel like this with the break a new high but prices kept strongly pushing higher so this means if i'm just going to connect the first couple of swings at the bottom just going to copy put it at the top I have a small break for this channel, two leg up pullback, first leg down, break, second leg down. You can see you have a second entry line, but you definitely don't want to take it because this is right uh, after FOMC. So everything is moving really fast and the bars are really big. But you can see two leg up pullback, breakout pullback out of the train range. New high was tested and prices are reversing to the downside. So we already reached a new high. The downtrend formed, which means I need to redraw the channel. I'm going to count from lows. What do I expect? I expect for prices to form new extreme. So we have a first entry short pullback. There is no second entry short because there is no break below this bearish bar. You can see no trigger lower. It's also an inside bar and market created first leg up, break, second leg up with the new extreme. So what are you expecting? You're expecting for market to resume and to retest the new low because you have a two leg up pullback. Another aspect of price action, it moves in pairs of twos. Low high is bad, and by the time you get a felt second inch long, you have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked right next to each other. You can see a lot of stems just completely sideways. If you took this trade right here, you know, I can see why I can potentially market more aggressive. If you're an aggressive trader and you want to take this, but you can see how sideways it got. And this is why we're trying to respect these congestions. You want to take clean setups like this without congestion. Here we have multiple bars without a clean direction. Prices form bullish push and a strong rejection down. Which, since this downturn is new low, we have first leg up, break, second leg up. Visual aspect of two leg up pullback. Five consecutive bearish bars pushing lower and we expect for prices to form the second leg for this first leg just like we had here first leg pull back second leg uptrend played out you have a strong downtrend larger visual to like a pullback and we have new low formed first entry short pull back second entry short great bearish bar right at the ema and also this is the new high First entry long, pull back, second entry long. But this right here is very fast. I remember you could not have entered unless you use a stop order. And even that you had to be really quick and you probably could have gotten slippage. But once you have two high priority setups in one, that's always a better setup because it adds more confidence. You're at the EMA and you expect for prices to continue working lower after the two-leg like pullback. So great, it felt second entry short, felt second entry long and a second entry short at the same time and we had a larger two-leg up pullback buyers buying at the bottom sellers taking profit perfect price action at this point i can make my trading range a little bit wider because the fomc volatility is distorting the price action a little bit we have bullish reversal which at first i was looking for channel something like this but you keep making it wider and keep having micro breaks micro breaks and it's a sign there's a possible spike in the channel because you don't have confirmations at the bottom and it forces you to make it wider and wider. So if the first leg is very steep and tight, chances are that the second leg is going to be flat and we have a spike in a channel, which the structure is bullish. So I'm looking for a tool like a pullback second entry long, but we only have first entry long, second entry long here, but it's far from EMA. Breaking you high, reversal, and similar story here it's hard to find a perfect channel but you have to pay attention to the ema how strong the downtrend is and once again we're coming off the range highs most likely to the bottom so we're expecting to get a high priority short setup which would be at least second entry short at the ema but no confirmation ema here we are far from ema here far away from ema here here and here as well so even though the bias is clear strong downtrend from the top to the bottom there is no way according to rules for us to take a setup and we need to follow the plan otherwise why do we have a plan we can't really 
sell at these lows. So it's a shame there was no two-legged pullback. There was a break, new extreme. When I was watching this live, I even had my... I was even looking for possible... How did I draw it? Spike and a channel, something like this. This is what I was looking for. So once we created break and new extreme, I was expecting for prices to form felt second entry long. But as you can see, this channel was incorrect. So there ended up being just this channel. The first two swings right here. Confirmation here. A little bit confirmation here break a new extreme because we are at the trend range so we really don't want to be making the channels wider if you are breaking the trend range because chances are high you can see every single time you reach the highs and lows prices just snap back into trend range at first i have a first leg break second leg new extreme so i'm expecting bearish momentum to begin but we kept trending higher and kept trending higher I need to adapt because this leg is much larger than this first one and it's not proportionate for this reason I'm making the channel wider when you see the second leg being not proportionate to the first one big difference you have to extend the channel make it a little bit wider two leg a pullback second entry long but the single bar was bearish you can't go long new high for the uptrend and if you're gonna take a look at the trend range, you only made it barely to the middle. And this was a very strong push down. Okay? So if I'm gonna take a look at the structure like this, this was a very strong bearish downtrend. And you didn't manage to go back to the top of the trend range because the fell breakout was deep. Okay, if I'm gonna draw the support and resistance, the fell breakout was deep. So it shows that the bullish momentum only made it to the middle of the trend range and never reached the resistance. Bullish bill EMA is indicating that probably this bias is going to reverse. Okay, and if you make the channel wider like this, you don't have confirmation here. It's too wide. Remember, we are in a trend range. This was the massive first leg down. So on a larger time frame, 10,000 tick chart, you expect bearish bias to continue. So now we have new high, first entry long pull back second inch long failure great setup great tier one single bar right below ema you don't have to chase it it take one tick high reverse down great felt second entry long and you can see how the bars are getting smaller the bearish momentum is stronger so you can start to anticipate that the market may create the significant push after this first lag so at first you wouldn't have the wider channel but we keep trending below the ema New low when I'm going to reset the count. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. First leg up, pull back, second leg up. And we have new extreme. So textbook, visual two leg up, pull back. And just when I, I stopped trading, and this is where I stopped trading, I thought it was just going to be no setup because it just traded up and down without any setup. And just when I decided to finish, you can see we had a nice setup here and the textbook setups right here. Uptrend had to break new high. Key entry point is holding. There's even micro resistance. Bias is bearish. So first entry short, second entry short with great tier one signal bar. And if you're not sure, you have lower high confirmation setup. First entry short, second entry short. Lower high confirmation setup. Close to second entry short. Confirming the triple top. Right below EMA and a great tier one signal bar. So these are the setups that really make it worth it because you can see how far the runner would have ended up going easy trail you trail it one tick above each significant swing and you can trail it all the way down and even take some profits because you're very close to the close of the day but this is exactly what we are anticipating and yesterday we had a great textbook second entry long to finish the day as well and you can see the first leg measured and we expect for target to be second leg so this is how you're predicting the targets by capping the legs and we overshot it because the bearish bias was just too strong. A lot of tiny bars, very strong trend. So you can see two leg pullback, extremely visual today, working very well in tight trend range. And this is what you want to follow. I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you had a good trading day. Good luck with your trading.